for the institute level inauguration of Toykathon. To start with the inauguration, may I request Mr. Mr. Syed Masood, Dean School of Arabic and Islamic Studies, to recite the Kirat. Assalamu alaikum. A very good morning to all of you. Aul billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين يهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين in the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful, praise to the Almighty, the Lord of the world, the gracious, the merciful, master of the day of judgment, the alone to be worshipped and the alone to be beseeched for help, guide us in the right path, the path of those on whom you have bestowed your blessings, not those who have incurred your displeasure, not those who have gone astray. Amen. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Now may I request everyone to join me for Tamil Thai Vartha. You may also rise for the occasion. Yeah. Thanks. Toykathon 2021 is organized by Ministry of Education's Innovation Cell with support from All India Council for Technical Education, AICTE, Ministry of Women and Child Development, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of MSME, Ministry of Textiles, and Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. More than 900 teams with ideas on digital games and physical games have participated in this event. We are glad to inform you that B.S. Abdul Rahman, present Institute of Science and Technology, has been selected by MIC and AICTE for hosting Toykathon 2021 as one of the nodal centers for Grand Finale, an event conducted by Government of India to promote indigenous toy industry. We are happy to inform that around nine teams from different parts of India have confirmed their participation. So may I request Mr. M. Parvez Alam, Director and CEO of Crescent Innovation and Incubation Council and the single point of contact for our Noodle Center for the Toykathon to deliver the welcome address. Good morning, all of you. Uh, respected Vice Chancellor, uh, respected Registrar, respected Jalal Sir, and respected Dean uh, Arabic Studies. Uh, Chief Guest for the day, Mr. Raj Kapoor, and guest of honor, Mr. Syed Mubashir, and uh, other committee members, Dr. Vengadesh, Dr. Hemrada, Dr. Harina and uh, my other committee members who have been actively working for this uh, program, as well as my team members. I welcome you all for this uh, grand inauguration of Tai Kirtan. And I'm very privileged to say that, uh, you know, our institute has been selected as a nodal center in the first edition itself. And uh, this is the digital edition. 
due to pandemic the physical edition is postponed but i'm also glad to say we also been selected uh, as one of the 60 Uh, only 60 centers across india has been selected for the physical edition and we are all on on among them and then we are looking forward to host all of you during the physical edition soon uh, once this pandemic is over um, and as our prime minister rightly said uh, toy industry is 1.5 billion dollar industry and we are currently importing mostly from china and as you know uh, our defense import is 50 percentage and we are still working for the you know indigenization and that is rocket science but whether thai is not a rocket science and then uh, it's a you know it, there is no much uh, technology or intellectual property involved in it so uh, as our prime minister rightly said we have to start indigenizing all these toys which we are currently importing it which will going to add up to our 5 trillion uh, economy dream economy so i think this has been a very right initiative at the right time by the minister of education along with uh, joining with other seven ministries uh, and then uh, this uh, as you all know this uh, competition that is this hackathon is open for students uh, even working professionals even some of the startups also can participate So it's both both open to school students as well as college students as well as professionals. So there are three category, and then we have a participation from all this category, and then uh, so I thank our management for supporting us to hosting this because this uh, uh, hosting opportunity has come because of the various facilities and support offered by our management. So uh, and then I thank uh, Mr. Raj Kapoor and Mr. Sayed. for joining at the very short notice and uh, mr raj has very wide experience in the blockchain and cryptocurrency which is a very upcoming uh, and then mr sayed has uh, himself a very product uh, management expert is a very good friend of mine uh, he has uh, you know a uh, you know, wide experience in the design fma which these are the tools uh, actually we can use it to make the you know indian indigenous toy industry with this short note i welcome all of you and then uh, uh, it and make uh, makes let make this uh, a grand show thank you thank you sir now may i request the vice chancellor of bs abdul rahman present institute of science and technology dr ap mohammed to felicitate the digital gathering thank you uh, good morning all of you uh, mr raj kapoor the founder indian blockchain alliance uh, mr uh, I say here the Musabir, the director D S Part, our uh, registrar Professor Azad, our uh, senior general manager Mr Jalal, and our uh, dean Islamic studies and uh, Mr Parvez, the CEO of C I I C, and his team, the faculty members associated with uh, the Takaton activities, and the participants uh, from uh, various. Uh, schools colleges and other institutes actually it gives me immense pleasure in participating in the inauguration of institute level uh, inauguration for this takathon uh, 2021 actually the national level uh, inauguration will follow soon i said as told by uh, mr uh, parvez so the toy industry has got a lot of potential actually and uh, And not only that, uh, we have 1.5 billion uh, uh, a market for toy in India. The globally, we have a hundred billion dollar market actually. So our initial uh, objective would be to uh, replace or uh, substitute uh, the imported market by our indigenous uh, product. But in the long run, we can also export. So in that sense, uh, the toy industry has got a lot of potential, hundred billion dollar potential actually. so is a right initiative introduced at the right time by the ministry of education along with the other six um, ministries to promote and popularize the toy manufacturing in india and uh, they also uh, thought out a very good uh, move and method uh, by which they could reach the students the young mind actually the young mind would be very creative and innovative and uh, we are happy that uh, our institute of uh, bs abdul rahman kasani institute of science and technology has been selected as one of the centers to host the takathon uh, uh, 2021 actually 
is is a, um, a, a proud moment for us it's all possible because of uh, the efforts taken by ca ic led by mr pavez and his team actually and uh, because of their very active and uh, their persistence uh, felt everywhere and uh, our institute has uh, obtained a lot of laurels actually particularly the ciic and because of that we could add one more feather uh, to the cap of uh, ciic it's a great moment and uh, our evaluators and mentors actually have done a, a very good job uh, in popularizing and propagating uh, the manufacture of uh, uh, toys and particularly inculcating the design thinking uh, among the participants actually and of course uh, um uh, they are also taught uh, the latest technology so that uh, they could experience and apply this technology uh, to come out with uh, innovative toys actually so when we talk about toys actually um, there are many things uh, and uh, their important their requirements also actually highlighted by our uh, uh, evaluators and the promoters so the toy first of all it has to be sustainable sustainable in all senses and that so when we talk about uh, sustainability it starts with the material selection and the manufacturing process and of course uh, how we use them also uh, so the toys uh, should be um, look nice uh, is because uh, the uh, is look uh, only promotes uh, prompts everyone to buy the toy so uh, the looking also give a lot of importance uh, and above all the cost Uh, finally the uh, purchase is decided by the uh, cost so it should be economical in sense and all the creative and innovative minds with the uh, new technology that's the most important thing the application of the new technology in the toys is the most important thing that's why this kind of uh, takathon is organized and uh, with a lot of uh, experts in the field evaluate in the name of evaluators the jury and mentors so you'll be able to come out with uh, good toys and i wish our participating teams actually and uh, that uh, they would perform well and they would uh, come with um, a lot of laurels and then they would uh, win uh, prizes actually i i wish them all the best in their uh, participation and participation itself is a success but definitely they would win uh, uh, many prizes and that would be um, a glad moment to our uh, institute and uh, once again i congratulate our uh, cic led by mr parvez and his team uh, for taking all the efforts in organizing this uh, program and i wish uh, our uh, participating team a grand success uh, in their endeavor thank you all thank you so much sir now may i request dr a azad a registrar of bs abdur rahman present institute of science and technology to deliver the felicitation address Good morning to all of you, uh, respected Vice Chancellor of the University, Dr. Apir Muhammad, all of the hotel manager, Dr. V. N. Jalal Sir, Mr. Raj A. Kapoor, founder India Blockchain Alliance, Mr. Syed Musabir, director T. E. Spar. private limited professors from our university participants students deans directors and hods who are participating in this program once again a very good morning to all of you toy making is not a child's play it is a huge industry like our vice chancellor told it is a 100 billion dollar industry in the 90s in anna university uh, a new program was initiated on creativity innovation uh, in those days you know before innovation was creativity in a meeting one of the resource persons told about he spoke about toys he told two things one is that designing toys toys look simple but designing toys is very difficult even though they appear small and all that in when it comes to design aspect designing a new toy is not that easy that is the first thing he told me second thing that he has told is that children do not distinguish between costly toys or 
you know, simple toys. For them, a toy is a toy. They play with any toys. So he was telling everybody uh, who are, uh, you know, uh, trying to design toys uh, to keep these things in mind. Uh, it is uh, the right time that we have embarked on uh, this uh, toy kathan, our government's initiative. Uh, in the US alone, they are selling about 3 billion numbers of toys every year. That is a thing. Uh, toys are part of culture. Even during the Indus Valley civilization, approximately 8,000 years ago, uh, they found the toys made of bamboo sticks, hay, natural clay, rocks, fiber, cloth, everything. Imagine that uh, uh, toys closely follow the civilizations. Uh, if you take the Indian toy sector, it will cross 3.3 billion mark by 2024. So it's a huge opportunity for the entrepreneurs and all. The toys range from, you know, infants, preschools, toys, uh, and, and the activity toys. Uh, one of the largest manufacturers of toys are the Tokyo-based company, uh, so Namco, uh, they produce 6.6 billion US dollar worth of toys. We all know about the Lego, uh, Danish company, they produce 5.7 billion worth of US dollar worth of toys. So we, in India, we should have our own shares. We have a huge heritage and culture and definitely uh, our toy industry will be very successful if you'll put all our effort. I sincerely um, you know, wish that this program will really create good deliberations on uh, this subject. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Now I take this moment to introduce our chief guest, Mr. Raj E. Kapoor, founder India Blockchain Alliance. Raj is an advisory board member at several blockchain chain companies and the founder and chairman of the India Blockchain Alliance, the largest Indian emerging technology tech think tank. He is an accomplished tech innovation professional, Drupal web application developer, blockchain and cryptocurrency educator, certified Bitcoin professional, blockchain solution architect, community organizer and friend of disruptive ideas, pro tem chairman for organization of blockchain technology users. He is also the Asia Lead Technology and Innovation at Blockspace Technologies Limited and advisor of Tech Build Innovation Partners. Mr. Raj has also helped in organizing India's biggest blockchain and cryptocurrency events across major cities. He has also spoken at several international seminars and conferences across the world. I request our chief guest to address the gathering. Thank you so much, Alicia. Thank you. And a very, very good morning once again to everybody. I've been hearing with so much interest on the toy system. Now, I've been involved in hundreds of my hackathons in the past, but a toy system, something new even for me, but a fantastic initiative by the government of India. You know, all of us are kids at heart. All of us love toys. I used to play with toys when I was a kid, and frankly, I still play with toys. I play with different blocks now, blockchains, just another block of blocks. We don't grow up really, guys. We just, it just changes the way we think. I, I think it's much. all of us have something which is common, which is a common thread for any form of, we can call it innovation, creation, whatever. And that is something which is unlimited. And that is creativity. Every other asset can be limited. Oil, limited. Gold, limited. Silver, limited. Even for that matter, the Bitcoin is limited. But what is unlimited is creativity. And that's the actual seed, which we are all require when we talk about a hackathon or a toy -cathon. It gives us wings. And, you know, things like a toy -cathon is a great thing. Yes, it's, it's a great big market. But then we must question ourselves why we have never harnessed this market earlier. We never harnessed it because we grow up. We grow up and start creating other innovations. But we forget that the best innovations come from kids. The best ideas have come from kids. And I'll share something with you. I talked about a little bit on the technical world, 
but I'll relate it to the toy industry. One of the biggest success stories in the technical blockchain world, for example, has been a game called CryptoKitties. A lot of people don't associate blockchain with toys or anything else. But frankly speaking, the biggest innovation today called the NFT, which is a blockchain product, so to speak, came in 2017 by a game called CryptoKitties. I won't get into the detail of what the CryptoKitties are. Basically, it was a video game and it gamified, the, it, it put blockchain into gamification. And today, one of the highest selling kitties is from that game. Now, somebody came up with that idea. Now they have a lot of replication of those kitties. You have actual collectibles, you have actual toys which work. It's a spawned a whole new series, one of the highest selling series in the United States. And that's what the United States has been great at, innovation through creativity. We can easily take it. India's got much more creativity than any other country. We have it inside us. The magic is inside us. We just need to harness it. Secondly, one of the things when we talk about toys or anything else is we make it, we first think of the pricing. And that's one of the things which we really should actually overcome. India is, of course, a price sensitive country. And uh, we do understand a lot of people don't make the best of toys because they feel the cost is too much. So they compromise either on the quality or anything else. But frankly speaking, let us leverage our technology. Let's dig a little deeper. Things can become much cheaper if we really do that well. And that's backward integration into the toy manufacturing is what we really need. China succeeds, has succeeded. And they are the highest exporters of toys anywhere in the world. Forget India. Most of the American toys also come from China. Even today, we may say we don't like China, etc. But we must give them respect for one thing. They have actually patented the art of bringing in perfection in whatever they do. With a cost so low that sometimes we can never compete with them. There's no secret sauce to that. The secret sauce is persistence constant innovation and creativity. I've always believed in that. I mean, we all say, oh, why should we import from China? Well, the quick question is, why are we importing from China? Because we don't have them here. So that's, this is a great opportunity for all of us. We can do it. There is no rocket science, but there is a science. And we must acknowledge that. We must acknowledge technology. We must acknowledge processes. We must acknowledge all what manufacturing stands for. Uh, from our side, there is uh, one of the largest type toy manufacturers now in Europe. We are working with them on using the blockchain to streamline their processes to make things better and as a result, bring down the cost of the toys so they can also export it to other countries, which so far have been unable to export them because of the price factor. Many factors go in making all these a success. Finally, Everybody knows Facebook. It's not a toy. It's not. But let us learn some lessons from Facebook and the lessons from what a toycathon or other hackathons have done. Facebook is a very interesting case study. I'll use that because everybody knows Facebook. There are so many interesting ones, but Facebook, I think all of us know. Now, Facebook is actually a combination of a lot of products which have come through hackathons. And that's why the Toykathon, what we do today, could be a real solid fillet for our nation. Let me tell you, we all know that Facebook, you can tag your friends. Yes, we can tag our friends. That was not a Facebook original. That came from a hackathon. We can even, even the very ubiquitous Facebook chat, that came from a hackathon. Of course, Facebook bought that company over. Facebook has bought over all these aspects, tagging, even the, or oh, oh, the most famous like button, the like button was created by youngsters in a hackathon. Liked, they loved, Facebook loved it, they bought them over. Bottom line, hackathons, toycathons, these are opportunities for our students, opportunities for our creative minds. These are, these who don't come again and again. That's an opportunity. And I'm glad person has brought some teams right inside. Happy, I'm happy to guide them whenever required also because it's, it's all a question of how we collaborate together. Hackathons is all about teamwork, collaboration. You call it innovation. We call it creativity. You call it whatever. It's all a combination. 
it's like a cup of a cup of chai. You cannot make tea without water, milk, tea leaves, sugar. All four have different features, but when they come together, they make a beautiful heady mix, which we have every morning and enjoy. That's the same thing which happens in, in, our, in our lives now. So as I always tell, creativity now is our new currency. Get Bitcoins, but get fiat currency. Creativity is our new currency. Let's encash that. Let's make things better. The Toykathon is an example and an opportunity for us. It's one of the first I've seen in my life, something specific on toys. And I've been very intrigued by it. In fact, when I actually got the invitation, I got my team together and say, can we do something together? And trust me, we've come up with 27 ideas on how blockchain can actually impact the toy industry. We will probably submit this to the government at some point of time. We are working on this. Bottom line, it gave us also a creative streak, which we thought we never had. So all students, all participants are going to be part of the Toykathon. Remember one thing, just let the creative juices flow. There is no success and there's no failure. Even if you don't succeed or don't win, remember one thing, guys. You may, not, you may have failed today, but you've actually found 10,000 ways of doing things differently. That is what your takeaway should be, whether there's a hackathon or a hackathon. You fail, but you learn. And you learn, you fail. At the same time, you learned more than the last time before. So the Toykathon, great chance to grow, get, get into the system. Great chance to be part of a booming economy. Great chance of being doing something great for our nation. We live in a wonderful nation. Let's give it something. Let's give it some great stuff. And we're doing our bit from a blockchain perspective, but there are so many different perspectives. Everything has to come together to make this work. Wish every participant great success. Wish Crescent fantastic. I mean, you'll be chosen as one of the 60. Wow, that's a great achievement in itself. Congratulations to all. I wish everybody a lot of success. Take care. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, sir. It was really exciting to listen from you this morning. So now may I take this opportunity to introduce to you our guest of honor of the day, Mr. Syed Musabi, the product designer and cost analyst. He has been facilitating consultancies and workshops on new product initiatives for 23 years. He is associated with uh, Boothroyd Dewhurst Incorporation USA to serve the domain of niche applications in the realm of engineering software applications and is also engaged in design and development of lithium iron and lithium polymer battery products. He has accomplished uh, Stanford University's seed transformation program for entrepreneurs. He holds a patent for an automobile design, which also attracted Engineering Design National Award by Indian Society for Technical Education, ISTE from Delhi. In his capacity as director of Celestial E-Mobility, he contributes by bringing in his vast experience in design and development of battery technology in e-mobility. Now may I request our guest of honor to deliver the special address. Thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You okay. are. Uh, so, uh, firstly, my name is pronounced as Syed Mubashir Ali. Actually, a few of my friends who are online today are sending me messages. Hey, why, you, why is your name pronounced so differently by the panelists? But, well, my name is a little difficult one. Uh, I'm just having an experience share that I'd like to do with the uh, audience today, especially. I saw there are more than 50 audience. That's a wonderful crowd to have this morning. So, here's my request through the day in uh, the next 5-10 minutes. In case you find something interesting, please feel free to post on the chat box and I'll take it up from there once the uh, our moderators allow me, which is Bhuvna here. She's the captain of the crew today. So in case you find something interesting, please do say yes or no on the chat box. I love her interaction uh, feedback uh, through the session. And in case we miss out, that's my email address that you could reach me out to. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, I have this request that please listen to me over the next five to seven minutes without any burden to agree on what I'm saying. I hope we can start out on that note. Uh, Sayed, sorry for interruption. I'm sorry. Apart, yes, from this, uh, apart from this 50 people, we also it's also going on live stream on YouTube. Okay. Uh, so I think, uh, Bona, how the YouTube uh, participants can interact? Is there any way they can put a chat? So, so we the... will enable the chat, sir. Okay. Oh, okay. 
the Bhuvana has a lot of work to do today to get that, that information us, back to us. So to we have family. a very active team, sir, which are taking the backstage Wonderful. work. Fair enough. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thanks for that, Parvez. Uh, so uh, what I'd like to tell from an experience share, I'd like to get there, but I'm hoping to have this, as I said, interactive over the next five to seven minutes. So here's an image I'd like to share for the next 20 seconds for the folks to guess and probably post their guess on the chat box. Okay, here it goes, and I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do this. What do you think this is? I have actually my stopwatch on, so I'm going to time it out at 20 seconds, and I keep my speech well within the 10 minutes that Parvez has very uh, clearly allocated for our panelists. Okay, let me let me let me uh, say that I or let me guess that you're already making some guesses, but not able to put it out on the chat box. So let me give you another perspective of the same product. I hope by now you have some some dimension of what this product could most likely be. And for okay. those of us who may have a guess, uh, well, this is a peeler. Now, if you rewind your life for the last thirty seconds. And if you were wondering, what was running through your mind when I showed you the first image? Okay. And uh, you're, you're probably thinking when there are so many different peelers in the world, why should we invent another peeler? Right. There are peelers from say 40 rupees up to four, 500 rupees. Right. Then ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, I think you're all here because you all believe that there must be another way of doing things. Well, if you believe that, I think that's why you are here today. And I think the next five, seven minutes, would probably make sense to you as you get along in your journey of this type of time, right? I'm sure you also agree with that if you have uh, seen through your own lives, development on different aspects of technology that you use daily, right? I think the same could be said to other products. The same can be said about toys. I don't have to mention much. The uh, August audience uh, panelists before me have spoken much about this. Uh, what I'd like to talk about is this uh, scope of finding new ways of doing things is an always ongoing quest, whether it is 8,000 years ago in the Indus Valley civilization, or as we stand today in 2021, anything what was something like this as a rollerball mouse has advented itself to an infrared LED to becoming a wireless mouse. And today, if you look at it, people talk about, hey, can I get it done with gestures? Okay, they don't find it just in computing, but they also find these uh, opportunities yeah, of high technology being deployed even in toys, right? So my uh, take or my suggestion for the, to the audience is if you have a plan and of making something, in this case, probably toys, I hope you make a, something that makes meaning. Because when you make a product or a toy that makes meaning, what you're going to find is this opportunity to keep making money. People are going to come to you to find ways to doing that. So while you're starting out on this journey of making your design, one thing you'll probably be or should be aware of is many people will call your product or criticize it differently. It's very difficult when you tell a mother she has an ugly baby. Can you tell her? But you know what? As designers, you're going to probably feel this through the journey. What happens to good designers is when they are in this world of creating, taking the risk of making new ideas, okay, in the stage of ideation, as you keep taking this constructive criticism, what will help you to do is build your model make it ready for the market and launch it appropriately with little risk. If you don't heed to this, you're going to go I up the chain and probably your risk of uh, failures are going to be high. So be ready to do this course and correction by taking inputs from those that who matter. So whether you're going to go solo or you're working as a team, it doesn't matter. What you just know is how you're going to play your role very well. What I mean is, Initially, you'll see this thing that was critical for success. And you'll see this when you get the final panelists, uh, final uh, team winners. You, the trust among team members is sort of critical. Camaraderie amongst the team members mm -hmm. is important. One more thing we should know as the team players is not everybody can hog the time limelight. Some will. So just be sort of acceptable of that. Then you become a better team player. This is my experience share, which I would like to which I'm putting out here on this forum. And the other thing that we should do as team players is, when in doubt, ask why you're in it. Either get your insight, talk about it, and get ahead. Or if it doesn't make sense, get out of the whole program. It's better to leave when you don't believe in the journey. 
because what should matter to you is what is it that you're going to benefit out of this whole journey that you're getting into with your team or yourself in building whatever product that you have or whatever toy that you're engaging into build. I think I see on the program over the next three days, there's a lot of potential for mentoring. So please take as much uh, advice from the people who matter. Take the advice and make your own assessments of the advice. Okay, not everything may work. So see what works and take it. But as, a, as an individual or as a team, what you should do is keep asking. It's better to be silly for a few, a few minutes than regret an error really late because that's what unreasonable folks do. They drive it different. Uh, and when there are progressing, a few things will happen. And what you should probably have as a thumb rule within team members is uh, lack of alignment is not a, it should not be there amongst members. If you agree, disagree, it's okay, but you can disagree and still commit to your whole uh, journey. And uh, some things will take time. So please be patient. Work on a milestone basis. Because that way, it will be easy to see that you've achieved something and it won't be frustrating. Keep checking on the progress and see if you're going towards your goal. That is more critical for success. And ladies and gentlemen, I ended up by saying, whether you're on a journey to make things better or you're out there to make better things, whatever works, all the best to you guys as you start out on this journey. Because like all the other panelists said earlier today, we are at a very wonderful time of uh, uh, to exist right now. There are more choices, opportunities, people who will believe in you and put money into your ideas. And you have access to better technology than ever before. So this is all at your advantage. So make use, best use of it. And I'll end up saying a, a, a quick imagery of some of the ideas that I believed in, uh, in building some uh, things around what I think will make, make a difference to the world. So one of them is this long distance endurance vehicle and what Parvez talked about. This is my own startup of a couple of years ago. So with that, I would say thank you for this opportunity uh, to all the people at CIIC. And uh, all the best to all the participants in Taikapa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. It was, uh, the presentation was really uh, different. The perspective of yours towards toy, uh, toys and uh, the new technologies is kind of good. So may uh, let me check if we have any questions from the participants. We had answers when you had asked questions. Yes. I can, we I, had I can... hanging book hook and uh, and two of them had correct uh, answered correctly. Right. So uh, thank so you so much to Nisha and Gayatri for being attentive and uh, responding on the, onto the chat box. I'm sure others were doing that too, but uh, by the time they could take to the chat box, maybe I moved on. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. So uh, with this, we come to the end of the Institute level inauguration of Toykathon. So let me take this opportunity to thank our chief guest, Mr. Raj, uh, founder India Blockchain Alliance, a guest of honor, Mr. Syed, product designer and a cost analyst, our committee members, uh, my active team, uh, my uh, dear participants and all the faculty members out there. And I wish all the participating teams all the very best for the next three days. You can reach our team anytime with any difficulty you encounter. We request everyone to join the national inauguration in the link we have shared in the agenda. So keep in touch with us. Thank you so much. Thank you all. And then uh, I thank our uh, chief guests and guests of honor on behalf of our institute. It was very wonderful. In fact, very thought provoking how blockchain connecting to Thai and how product development connecting to innovation and so on. So it was very enlightening for the team for the next three days who are going to work on this hackathon. And I thank our uh, vice chancellor and registrar sir and our uh, senior general minister and uh, other professors, dean director HODs, especially the committee members. So it's a great uh, team effort. Uh, though we are seeing only few in the front. There are a lot of, uh, every, every committee has a conveners and every professor has contributed and then uh, also our hardworking CIC team, all behind the show. So thank all of you. And then we request all of you join for this uh, uh, national inauguration, which the minister is going to inaugurate uh, for the next three days. And hopefully we are going to uh, you know, host you for the physical edition, edition soon. Thank you, all of you. Uh, before signing out, can uh, we do have a question from uh, Mr. Hari, Dr. Hari Naren, sir. Uh, if any one of our chief guests or guest of honor could answer it. In toy industry, what is the roadmap for India? Uh, 
I think uh, hopefully this uh, Taikathan will go into give a lead. Uh, yeah. I think uh, what Prime Minister has said is that uh, you know this 1.5 billion market we need to capture it, and then uh, which uh, should be part of alignment. Our professor has talked about just now alignment, alignment with our uh, 5 trillion dollar economy, which is in the dream now. So that is the uh, hopefully this Taikathan going to. put uh, strokes uh, for this uh, road map uh, i'm sure the ministry is also working on that but we will also try to seek more inputs from the ministry on their road map and so on if any you know, want to add any values please i just want to add to you know in, in any innovation space uh, if you know any anybody looks for these three things it's called pk bc is your solution a pk or a painkiller is the solution b a vitamin or is it c a cure you build your products around pkvc and you will find success because that's what is required in this world whether it's an innovation it's a toy or it is high end technology these are the only three fundamentals of success in any hackathon or creation is it addressing a pain is it a vitamin good to have or is it a cure then then you get all your answers your road map starts from there the toy kitten is a great start it is you now who go have to make the road map because this is the first time ever is happening you why don't you become the trend setters and creating the road map for india i think that's what you should be doing right that's my two two cents thank you sir thank you sir i think we need to wrap up for the national inauguration Thank you, Parvez. See you all on the other side. Thank you all, sir. Looking forward to see you all of you. Wonderful. Sir. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you all. We'll sign out now, then. Thank you all. Ah, yes. Thank you, Parvez. Yes. Thank you. We're signing off. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.